Hello random people on the internet, my name is Banana and today we got a video talking about how to optimize your grinding for every single skill and um, this is for people who have reached that point in Skyblock where their friends are making fun of them because they don't have enough health or they're just not doing enough damage to dragons or you just want to increase your stats very marginally but you want to do it as fast as possible. So to start off I'm going to go through every single skill, but I am going to give multiple options for each of them because I do think for a lot of the skills, there are multiple things you can do. Some of them are better than others. Some of them are less accessible than others, like they are much harder to do. And some of them are just a lot less effective in at one thing, but also they can help you doing other things in the game. So to start off, we're going to talk about farming. Now, farming basically comes down to building a massive farm and farming is one of the only skills that I have not started grinding that much I do have this massive pumpkin farm in progress down here you can see those pumpkins and everyone says pumpkin is the best but I would like to argue that you should not do pumpkin and I think that every person should do sugarcane when it comes to farming. And when you are farming, you want to be fast. But if you're doing sugarcane, you cannot be as fast. So just having farmer boots from the pumpkin collection would be fine. Or any of these young pieces would probably give you enough speed to where you're going fast enough. And you may be questioning, if sugarcane doesn't give you the most XP, why would you want to do it? Well, we're going to go to the next skill immediately after farming. And that's going to be alchemy. Alchemy is a pay to win skill it is the only pay to win skill i would say due to it just purely being how expensive of potions you can make like if you have just billions of coins for some reason you can just put enchanted blaze rods in you can crack this out in a day it's really quick this is the fastest skill to upgrade but also the most expensive skill to upgrade unless you are already farming because the best way to upgrade it is using enchanted sugar cane enchanted sugar cane if we put it in here with these awkward potions will give us speed five pots and then if we go oh i don't have my teleport pads down let's go down here let's see i need an alchemy three boost we're gonna get one of those we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna upgrade this potion to speed seven we're gonna drink this alchemy boost and we're about to get a lot of alchemy experience, guys. So, we got 10 seconds here. Basically, that is why you should farm sugarcane over pumpkins, though. Because you can get farming experience and you can work towards your alchemy. So, it is hitting two birds with one stone. Now, if we grab one of these speed sevens, you can see we get 18,000 alchemy experience. And that is not counting a spider 8 buff that you could get like if you hit spider 8 you get 10% more alchemy XP I believe and that will only boost you more down the road and it's honestly really solid I don't know if I'd go for it but you definitely can that is the fastest way to upgrade alchemy and farming there next up we're gonna talk about mining and for mining you do want to build one of these if you have not seen this this is like an industrial cobble generator it's just like a bunch of water and lava lots of source blocks of lava and you just put them like this you have two teleport pads one down here one over here and then you're gonna want to get either a haste to beacon which is a tiny bit harder to get or you can just run miners outfit that's what I do I run miners outfit and then you're basically gonna want to just get started right here and just look up and mine and just go all the way down you get teleported back you need to move your mouse a little bit every now and then just to keep your self not or keep yourself getting the experience and you're just gonna want to grind this and you're gonna use XP boost potions on every single one of these I forgot to mention that every single one of these is always optimized with experience potions and um, you get those from the Jerry event. You can upgrade them. If you look at a video, I'll put a card right here if I'm smart. Should be in the top right corner of the screen if you haven't seen it. But for our next skill, now that we have said the mining, that gets you about 60,000 experience an hour, by the way. But for our next skill, we are going to talk about the combat skill. 
Now, combat is one of the most optimized skills because people want combat. Combat is probably the most important skill to upgrade just because of how insane your damage can get. People who are combat 50 can go into dragons and do way less hits on a dragon but just destroy any other player due to the insane amount of damage that they do. They're doing... 200% more damage to every mob compared to people like me who are combat 29 and I'm doing 116 dam 116% more damage to every mob. So you need your combat leveled up and there are basically three schools of thought. There is the I want to actually play the game and get other rewards while doing it. There is the I am not wanting to play the game, I want to watch Netflix while doing this, but I also want to commit all of my minions to doing it. And then there is the I have friends who will throw pearls for me method. So for the first method, it's actually going to be to ring your Maddox bat phone and call Maddox and do some Revenant Horror Slayers. Revenant Slayers can get you over 100,000 experience an hour whenever you are grinding them, and you are grinding out your Revenant Slayer. I personally really like this method due to the fact that I don't want to commit every single minion to a gas minion, and that's the next method. Gas minions are really good, and <laughs> you just basically need to sit at your island with a lot of gas minions, and you have like an AFK pool like this one right here. We're just going to go up. And let's say that block is where the gas minions are. You're just going to have a bow and just shoot over there every now and then. Move your mouse so that you don't get tracked as being AFK. And you're basically just going to shoot gas for a millennia. And combat is actually changed by a couple things. You have experience boost potions, obviously. But you also have the Vikings tier basic brew. Now, you get this at the... Uh, spruce forest at the park by the viking guy like where you buy the raider's axe and stuff you just have to open him up every time with the fish hat and the magical water bucket you guys have done it but the vikings tier gives you 10 percent more combat experience so that is how you really want to optimize that also you can get the hunter ring which is like the rarest or one of the hardest to get talismans in the game i would say Probably the most expensive talisman in the game currently because it is worth like 30 to 40 million and you have to get that for 5% more XP if you really want to optimize it. And if you are crazy, crazy trying to get combat XP with gas, then you can use Foul Flesh. Now Foul Flesh is very, very expensive to run on your minions just because each one of them costs 25,000. Let's say you have 20 minion slots just for three hours. You are paying 500, or for five hours, I mean. You're paying 500,000 coins per 20 minions. And you're going to have to be grinding combat for about 60 hours to get 30. Or no, it's not 60 hours. That is when you need. That was what Ice Blades was talking. You're going to need to farm combat for a very long time in there because he was talking about. Enderman farming. Enderman farming is probably my second favorite method to do it. And that is basically, you go to the end, you need a group of people for this. You need a group of loyal followers who will help you out. And you basically want to go over to here in the end. You need to go down below, but you also don't want to be down where everyone can see you because they will start stealing your kills. You want all these kills to yourself. You basically want to fill up your inventory and then you come down here. It looks like someone must have been doing this or something or is doing it. I don't know why there's Enderman here. I died because I, why am I wearing miner still? I was like, why am I getting just absolutely destroyed? We're going to go back down there. And while we're going down here, I'm going to mention that for this, you're going to want a Raider's Axe, I would say, just because the majority of the time, no one wants to do this for free. No one wants to throw pearls for free. But if you are using a Raider's Axe, you're going to be getting a lot of kills very quickly. So basically, you're going to throw pearls straight up in the air like this, or you're going to have people do this. And then every single time you throw this, it will spawn an Enderman. I'm actually not low enough. You want to go lower on the island. Like you want to go down to like here with your Enderman so that they spawn at higher level and then you basically just want to kill them while everyone else 
throws ender pearls. This can get you like 600,000 combat experience per hour, but it is expensive to pay people to do this, but I think it's definitely worth it. And if you can find people who will do it for free or something, that's even better. And with the Raider's Axe, you can make about a million coins an hour doing this as well, if you're just killing everything. And that one is really good if you don't want to commit your minions, because one thing that I also do recommend is using your minion slots for fishing XP. I think running clay minions is amazing, so I wouldn't change your minions off clay because they give money and a lot of fishing XP, and fishing is really annoying. So for fishing, there's basically a couple things that you can do. There is the mindset of catching more sea creatures getting more XP, and there's also the one of just fishing more things getting you more XP. Personally, from my experience, I recommend doing the catching sea creatures sort of stuff because the more sea creatures you get the more money you're gonna get as well just because you can get a emperor or you could get like a yeti if you're fishing during the christmas event and it's honestly just more helpful to get that kind of stuff rather than just going for fishing up things fast and if you want to do that sort of method then you should run angler armor which you should always run real fishing and then you should get a salty rod of legends maxed out like i have this is very expensive but it's the best way to get fishing xp and then you get spiked bait which you craft with a uh, puffer fish and a raw fish but I was talking to Moist Kitty, who is fishing level 30. She knows what she's talking about. And she said that the fastest way is actually to run Shredder with fish bait. And to make fish bait, let's see if I can get this recipe correct this time. I think it's this. It's there. That's the recipe. You get 30% faster catch time. And if you run that along with the Shredder, which has the fastest catch time in the game, along with the Yeti Rod, they both share the fastest catch time. I think the Shredder is just better, though, because you do more damage with it and you can just whack all the sea creatures with it. But if you use that, then you can fish things very quickly and you're basically going to be beating out the Rod of Legends every time when it comes to speed. And if you are luckier, when you're fishing like that, then you can still destroy. And your sea creature catch rate still isn't that terrible. So both of those are good methods. I was told by someone who's really good at fishing that that one is better. So I guess I have to recommend you that one, but I have personally never tried it. Now for the skill that I'm actually well versed in. As you can see, we're looking at foraging here. Foraging, I'm the number 69 forager on the server. I'm foraging 26. I know what I'm talking about here, okay? I forage all the time. I grind this. So basically, we're going to want to go. I'm going to Portal Hub right here. We're going to go to the park and we're going to go to the Dark Oak Forest. It says Jungle Island. That's wrong. We're in the dark thicket here. And basically, you are going to want to take your young dragon armor with farmer boots instead of young boots. You're going to want to put that on. You're going to want to get your jungle axe and your golden axe. You're going to want to run both. And you're going to get a haste three pot. Now, in here, I have a bunch of hour-long haste pots from someone who was like Alchemy 40-something at the time. And I recommend that you get someone who does this. I recommend that you make them very long because then you don't want to quit, which means that you will keep going. And basically, you're going to pop one of these haste three pots. I'm not going to do it right now. You're just going to go ham on these dark oak trees for an hour and a half with experience boost potions on. And then you're going to craft this. You're going to sell the stuff. It's going to make you loads of money as well. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be epic. And foraging is very straightforward when it comes to grinding, but it is one of the most annoying to grind just because... It is foraging. You have to be playing compared to like something like combat where you can just sit there and right click every now and then while moving your mouse. This one takes actual effort and it is also a really good skill to level up because it adds a lot of damage to you whenever you get more strength. So foraging is really easy, but it also will take you a long, long time to level up. So good luck with that. Last and definitely least, we have the enchanting skill. The enchanting skill, in my opinion, is the most boring skill to upgrade because of how stupid it is 
when it comes to just doing it. I don't understand how people grind out enchanting like 50. I'm enchanting 16 because I just don't want to do this. But if you guys want to grind out enchanting, then you can have fun being very bored. Basically, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to get your lapis armor because you get more experience orbs and then you're going to want to go and make some experience potions so that you can get more experience orbs i also recommend that you have the experience artifact because you guessed it it gives more experience orbs and why do you want experience orbs because you want to get a high you want to get in like the low 40s for enchants, I know a lot of people do 42. You're basically going to want to get a grand experience bottle and be level 0. And then you throw it on the ground. Whatever level that puts you at, you're going to go in your enchanting table. And you're going to get rid of your bookshelves around it to make it so it puts you at that level max. And then you're going to want to just take loads of books in your inventory and just enchant them at that level. And I'm not going to show this because I don't want to waste my 393 levels that I've accumulated from doing my zombie slayer but it's gonna get you the most effective XP I really wish that just like if I enchanted at 393 levels it would give me more XP than just enchanting at level 42 over and over and over but that's just how it works and it's really annoying how it works like that but it does Overall, I would say that skill grinding is something that every single player on Hypixel should be doing right now. Dungeons is around the corner. It's coming very soon, and I feel like every single player is going to want as much damage, defense, and health as they can get. So you just want to grind out your skills. And in order of importance, I would say it goes combat first, just because the crit chance is insane to get, and you get a flat percentage of more damage. I would say next up is foraging just because you get more damage and damage is pretty much all that's been important in Hypixel thus far when it comes to doing stuff. Maybe tankiness will be more useful in dungeons. I assume it will be. And that's why I say that you should get your fishing and farming up next because fishing and farming are pure health and they actually scale really well. Like you're not just getting a flat amount like with foraging. You're getting two strength every time. Combat you're getting 4% every time. You actually keep getting more and more stuff from here, like 4 health right here. I assume it goes to 6. I'm not farming 25, so I can't really show you. After that, I would recommend that you level up your alchemy, just so you can have longer potion duration from your own potions, rather than just using your guild splashes. If you do have a guild that splashes, it's much less necessary, but I would still try and go for that, just so that you aren't abusing other people, because if you end up getting kicked from your guild, or people stop splashing, you're going to need to drink your own pots, and you want those to have as much value as possible, and that is their duration. Their duration is fully how valuable they are. And last, and definitely least, once again, is enchanting. This skill sucks. It's like two intelligence every single time and you get more experience orbs. Wow, that's so interesting, guys. We love intelligence. Intelligence is like useless other than if you're using a Reaper Sight build, which no one is yet, but you should only level enchanting if you're going for skill averages as a whole, which honestly is a pretty big flex. If you can get a high skill average, you can say, hey guys, I have an average skill level of 30. Like, it's a big flex to have a high skill average, but Otherwise, there's really no reason to level up your enchanting. So I think that is going to be it for today's video on skill grinding. If you did enjoy, I would appreciate a like and a subscription. I know that I rambled a lot in this video, but it it wasn't on a script or anything. And sometimes I just ramble and ramble and jumble over words. And I apologize for that. Um, I would stream tonight, but I'm not going to because I'm going to watch the Packers destroy the 49ers in the NFC Championship game. If the Packers don't win, blame me for cursing them, but uh, we're rooting for the Packers. We stand the Packers here on the Menacing Banana Channel. So that is going to be it for today. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace out.